Paul said, you've been set free to be another kind of slave. That's odd. In Romans 6, though, that's what he wrote. He said, having been set free from sin, we've become slaves of righteousness. Are you ready for some good news? Freedom isn't an escape from serving somebody. It's finding the right one to serve. I once heard an Australian evangelist talk about how hard it is to be a sinner. And it was hilarious and really highlighted this point that you're going to end up serving somebody. He, he said, oh, being a sinner is hard work. Think about getting drunk. And it made me think about college years of watching some of my roommates and others that would go out and get drunk. And I thought, I don't want to do that. It's just way too hard. You got to go out and, and buy the beer. And then I don't even really like the taste of the beer. You got to convince yourself that it tastes good and then you got to drink it and you got to keep drinking it and you got to find a way to stumble back in and then you probably get sick and you got to clean up from it and then you wake up with a terrible headache and so it kind of ruins your day and he went on this whole thing but it's hard to be a sinner but think about this it's hard to be it's hard to be get caught up in lying and you got to remember what lies you've told and who you told them to you got to figure out how you're going to spend the next story I'll tell you what's really hard, coveting. Coveting is hard work. You gotta, no matter how good of a mood you're in, you gotta focus in on all the things you don't have and what somebody else has. It's hard work to put your mind on coveting what someone else has. You see where I'm going with that. Is that it's a paradox, isn't it? On the one hand, we seem to just default and therefore call it easy to stumble into sin. But what Paul says is that when you come into the grace of Jesus Christ, it's a grace that now works a new allegiance in your heart. And in that sense, you become a slave to righteousness. The freedom of the gospel is a paradox because on the one hand, it seems like it is this narrow way we've been learning through this small opening, the truth of Jesus, but it leads to this expansive and wondrous life on the other side. And I think that's part of what Paul means by this, is that it's a narrow thing to come to Christ. And in a sense, it makes you like a slave to a whole new loyalty, but it is a slave to the righteousness that leads to abundant life. Yeah, you get free from being a slave in order to become a slave. And that's the gospel. Well, that's today's daily devotional. And you can get more like it by clicking just right here. Or better yet, please subscribe to this channel. Get all of them. Start every day with good news. And I hope you have a great day today.